What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona and more. It's been a long 2020 and you've binged watched your way through all of the series on your list across the various streaming platforms and you're looking for something new to watch. In this video, I'm gonna give you the six Spanish series that you need to be watching right now that are not only entertaining, but will help you practice your Spanish. Let's check them out. If Spanish literature had its golden age in the 15 and 1600s, then now is the time for Spanish television. Something like 49 television shows were created in 2019, which is 20 more than just two years prior. I even got a call from my mom just the other day that she was watching a Spanish TV series on Netflix. Personally, I think that the quality has gotten so much better over the years, and it's not just the amount of money that's being put in, but it's also the experience overall with all these streaming possibilities where you don't have to watch it on Spanish TV. What happens here in Spain is that at any moment, even in the middle of a sentence, they'll cut away to a volvemos in siete minutos. We'll come back in seven minutes. Can you imagine that? It's horrible. It's something that you don't have to deal with when you watch these television shows online. And like I said before, the quality overall has gotten so much better where there's some really good shows that if you haven't seen them already, you should be watching. And with the bonus added that you can practice your Spanish. So here are the Spanish series that you need to be watching and where you can find them. The first is La Casa de Papel, which in English you're gonna see as Money Heist, and it's on Netflix. Now there's four different parts to it, which are really just two different seasons. And the basic idea behind it is that it's a bunch of misfit criminals that band together to try to break into the Bank of Spain and steal all of the money. It's one of those where the characters are really well developed. You start to root for the bad guy. And the crazy part is that it didn't do well in Spain on TV. It wasn't until they sold it to Netflix, just kind of thinking whatever, till it really just got picked up and was a global hit. It's so popular, there's even a documentary on Netflix you can watch right now about how popular the show is. Number two is Patria or Homeland, which is gonna be found on HBO. And it's based off of a book of the same name that's all about the Spanish terrorist group ETA. And it's really become a popular conversation that's been going on in the last couple of years with more series and more books being written about it. So what's really interesting about it is more than anything, the take on what happened. And I don't wanna to give too much away in case you wanna read the book or even watch the series. It's not really about the assassinations or anything, it's about how that affects the families, not only of the victims, but of the terrorists as well. So it's a whole different kind of take on the conversation that's going on in the Basque country right now. The book became really popular in all of Spain and the series has actually done really well. One piece of advice I'd give you if you're gonna watch the show to practice your Spanish is there are a lot of Basque words used throughout the series. So you might wanna have those subtitles on just in case. Number three is Cathedral of the Sea on Netflix, and this is something that I have recommended to so many people. Not only the series, but also the book that it's based off of, which is a historical narrative that's gonna let you see basically the rise of Santa Maria del Mar. So if you've ever been over to Barcelona and seen that church, you have to watch this series. It's all about seeing the church grow through the eyes of Juan, who's gonna be our main protagonist, who's gonna to help to build the church himself, but really see Barcelona during the 1300s as its rise as a Mediterranean empire. The fourth series that you need to see is Ministerio del Tiempo, or Ministry of Time, which I first found on Netflix, but now has been moved over to HBO. And it's a series that I absolutely loved when I found it. It's a lot of fun and one that I would definitely recommend you check out. What you get is a secret ministry inside of the Spanish government that's tasked with making sure the past doesn't change. When there's a group of people that are trying to change history, we get some time travel going back in time to answer the questions of what would happen if, let's say, Cervantes had never written Don Quixote. This group makes sure that Don Quixote was still written by Cervantes. So it's just, like I said, a lot of fun to go back to some of the most important and famous moments in all of Spanish history and learn something along the way. Number five is Las Chicas del Cable or The Cable Girls on Netflix. And this is already in its sixth season. It's another one of those historical shows that really is popular here in Spain. And it's all about this group of women that are working as telephone operators in Madrid at the beginning of the 1900s. There's a lot going on, a lot of things happening here in Spain during during this time. It's filled with romance and violence and drama and everything. And what's really nice about it is there's only about eight episodes in each of the series, so it moves along really, really fast. So if you're looking to practice your Spanish, it's something that keeps you intrigued, keeps you watching, and a great show to check out. And the sixth Spanish show that you need to be watching right now is Se Quien Eres, or I Know Who You Are. And this, the last time I checked, was on Amazon Prime. Now this is a really good show, one filled with intrigue that just keeps you wanting to watch episode after episode. And it's all about a lawyer who gets charged 
with the murder of his niece after she goes missing with the added bonus that he doesn't remember anything. Now the questions that you're left with throughout the entire show are obviously, did he do it? But is he playing along with this memory loss because he knows all the tricks of the trade? So it's one that just keeps you guessing episode after episode and one that I really enjoyed. So there you have my list of the six Spanish series that you need to be watching right now, not only for their overall entertainment value and quality, but also if you want to practice or learn Spanish. Now, if anybody ever asks me what they can do to practice Spanish in a different way, I always recommend watching TV because it's one of the best ways to develop that ear. There is that possibility of watching any of these shows with the dubbed version, but I would always recommend watching the original version. And then if you need some extra help, putting in some Spanish subtitles or even those English ones as well. But let me know what your favorite Spanish show is or if I left any off the list with a comment below. I hope the video helped you out. If it did give you any sort of value, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like the one you've just seen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.